How's it going, everyone? So uh, on this channel, this is the first episode, uh, first video, I guess. <laughs> no one really calls it episodes anymore unless you're doing TV. Uh, I'm going to do my best to not put on a character, even though I think I'll always kind of put on a character because I'm, I'm talking to an iPhone right now looking at a wall. I'm not going to – it's not going to be superhuman, but it's no character. It's going to be less character than my main, and I'm going to be trying answering some questions that I think that you guys will find helpful. Uh, since this is the first episode, I don't have any questions or life advice from you guys specifically, uh, and that will change because there's an email in the description that you guys can send any questions you have to. Format's very similar to the Weekly Slap, a show run by Schlatt where he answers questions, and I, and I intend to basically copy that verbatim, uh, but today I thought I'd cover you know, a topic that I'm well-versed in. And by Will Verston, I don't mean <laughs> successful. Uh, let me make that very clear. Kind of take with a grain of salt what I say when it comes to uh, relationships. You know, if you're a guy and you're into girls, women, right? Take that with a grain of salt because, you know, I feel like I'm pretty successful. I'm pretty happy with how things have gone in my life. I mean, you know, friendships-wise, YouTube-wise, finances-wise, school-wise, like just life direction. I'm, I'm a happy camper, right? Women, bro, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm just, I'm just not killing in that category. But I'm very well versed in uh, not doing well and the things that you feel with that. And uh, if you try, there's a good chance you will fail unless you, you, know, you reach out to someone and they decide to go on a date with you and then you end up marrying them. And then congrats or I guess maybe I feel sorry for you because you didn't experiment enough. I don't even know. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, all I can say is that uh, I, th I think it's pretty common to find that when you like someone and either they don't like you back or they liked you back and they don't like you more anymore for some reason, maybe you messed up, maybe it's out of your control, that uh, yeah, it's agonizing and you think you will never get over them. It's actually kind of crazy looking back at this all because... I've had a lot of swings and misses, right? My uh, my KD is a zero, but I don't want to I don't want to tell you how many deaths I have, if you know what I mean. I've had a lot of swings and misses, and there's been a lot of occasions where I've been very bummed about it. Sometimes because I was overconfident going into it, but a lot of times, I mean, I think I was just setting unrealistic expectations for the effort I was putting in and the circumstance I was, you know, jumping into. Uh, and I, I get really sad over it and I would really think, wow, like this was going to be the one, uh, no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It, it probably is not. And for you, uh, it probably is not that they are not, they're not the one most likely. Uh, I, I'm kind of like conflicted if there's like one good person for you on earth. I think that'd be pretty depressing because the odds of you finding them is like slim to zero. I think that there's a lot of people that would fit for you. But uh, let me just say that there will be nothing that you can do in the short term that'll make you feel better. And you're going to hate this answer, but genuinely the only thing that will solve this problem, aka you feeling like shit, is time. I know everyone says that and it sucks and you're like, dude, why can't I have a life hack or something? That's just how it is, or at least that's how it was for me. The second part I kind of want to talk about is kind of a delusion when it comes to... Uh, romantic interests and how you got to be careful with that uh you know people are not always great people um people sometimes are good people but end up are kind of like blind to their actions and the consequences their actions have so there could be someone you like and they either intentionally or unintentionally kind of fuck with your life right they you either do like very stupid degrading stuff just to like please them or whatever they toy with you they mess with you they kind of they're bad, right? Intentionally or not. Uh, and sometimes you just genuinely can't see that, right? Because you're in this trance. And all I'm going to say is like, if you've surrounded yourself with friends or family or some kind of people that listen to you on this or are involved and care about you in some way, and you tell them like truthfully what is happening, like non-biased objectively what's happening, if they say something like some person is not good, right? don't do this anymore. Here's the thing. Maybe they're wrong. Maybe everyone is wrong and you're right. But think about it logically. When is that the case? When is that going to be the case that everyone is wrong and you're right? 
there's many, maybe some cases, cases in like science where it's like, oh my God, this person was ahead of the curve. Are you really ahead of the curve thinking that Jenny is great for you and that everyone else is wrong and that the way that she manipulates you is actually improving you? Probably not. That's kind of it. I want to talk about this topic in this video. If you have any specific questions about advice, uh, it can be romantic. I'm not that good in that category, but I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I'll give a crack at it, right? Uh, financial, uh, I'm much better at that. Ask me those questions. Or just general life advice. Dude, uh, to be honest, go to your grandparents if you still have them or some elderly figure first. They have like 60, 70 years of compounded life experience. So much more wisdom than me. I'm just some college student who really kind of doesn't even know what he's doing, which no college students know what they're doing, by the way. Don't feel bad. Uh, but if you want to ask, the email is down below, and I'm hopefully going to be keeping up this series.